Hello everyone! Today I want to show you a review of a finished item. I've already showed you this dress. Last time I showed you how we gathered the flowers at the bottom. First I want to show you this dress on a dummy, and then I'll put it on a table to show you all the details. I'll also show you a pattern for this dress. The dress is made of the striped cotton fabric. The front consists of several pieces of fabric stitched together. There are pockets in the side seams. I've already showed you how to make different types of inseam pockets. You know how to make them. The back is flared. There's the flounce on the bottom. Here it is. You can see only it's half now. Last time we showed you how to make the flounce. The placket is doubled with an interfacing material. The dress is very modern and stylish. I love the flounce, I love the stripes, and I love the narrow shoulders. I love such narrow shoulders, especially in such light clothes. I want to tell you about tucks. This dress was made using the 10 measurement cutting system, but there were no tucks in it. Have a look here. This is the bust top. Have a look at this seam. We moved a part of the dart to it. The rest of the dart opening was moved to different parts. Armhole, waist, neckline. The thing is that in this case an item can't be close-fitting. Anyway, this dress will fit the body perfectly. It will look very good. Learn how to work with tucks and darts. I've already showed you several tutorials on what to do with them. Everyone should have such a light, white dress without tucks and darts. Due to the fact that the dress is flared, it's very comfortable. It's a perfect dress for a hot summer. Now I want to show you the pattern for this dress. This is the back. The shoulder is pretty narrow. The armhole is wide, but is still of the right form. The back is long and flared. The side seams were moved a bit closer to the front. Due to this fact, it was a bit easier to remove the bust dart. The front is shorter than the back. You don't need to place the stripes like we did. You can do it however you like. We decided to place them this way, so that the direction of stripes matches the direction of seams. Let's get back to the dress. This is how it looks like from the right side. Notice that there is a seam at the bottom. It's about 7 mm wide. We didn't stitch the placket to the dress. It was attached by the buttons and the buttonholes. We didn't want to make a seam on the right side. The placket was doubled and edged. Now I'll show you the wrong side. First, let's have a look at the way the flounce was attached to the dress. The seam was edged with the bias binding. Have a close look at it. The width of this seam is just 1 mm. I think that it looks very beautiful. And it looks good on the right side too. The flounce was overcast. There is no overlock stitching on the bottom. This is a French seam. The side seams were stitched this way. Have a look at the pockets. We haven't showed you this technique yet. The pockets were also edged with the French seams. There is no overlock stitching in them.
The neckline and the armholes are edged with bias binding. We've already showed you almost all of these techniques. This part should also be very beautiful. Make sure that the flounce is attached to the very edge and that the bias binding is also in a seam. Striped fabrics look very good. We were choosing between the black and the blue stripes. Blue stripes look brighter. This is an amazing summer dress. I'm sure that you managed to make it. My name is Pauk Shterina. Guys, please, subscribe to my channel, write comments, share videos and press the like and the bell buttons. I really need your support. Thank you. Goodbye.